Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, goodbye. How the hell are you? Welcome along to this very first fabulous episode of the Laundry Room Podcast. With me, the fabulous Roxy Tumble Dryer. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope you're all well. Where the fuck you been, bitch? I've been worried sick. This is the very first episode. I am so excited to welcome my very first gorgeous special guest. We work together on the Drag Branch Bunch and the Sunday Caber Gay Show at Union Street. What the fuck did I say that in that way? Cabergay on Sunday nights at Union Street. It is Pauletta Stiletta. Hello. I'm going to I'm gonna put that sound effect in. <laughs> was my sound effect that good enough? No, it actually was. But I'll also put in like a, like a slow clap. Like. <laughs> is that Pauletta? <laughs> no, sorry. It's, is that Paul? Paul. Whether you are in full drag, you are dressed as a Belfast man, you're dressed as the big, any, any, what well, a many of your many characters and social personalities, you're still Paul. <laughs> Fucking it's, start doing Celine Dion, it's all coming back to me. I Go know, on, Paul. It's that, <laughs> when you touch me like, Go on, Paul. <laughs> and it's like, all right, we'll just fucking. I know Celine Dion can't move now, but by <gasps> if she, Roxanne, if she did, she could be a fuck out of you. I know, I, know, I love Celine, Celine. but yes, Roxy, finally you're doing a podcast <gasps> after us torching you for ages. I know the fucking shit that comes out of my mouth in the dressing room. We're getting ready or on stage, and you're like, you have to put this down on tape. I think it's more likely for the court cases, but still, <laughs> oh. I just thought, why not? Let's go. Bought the old equipment. Now we're sitting here in my back room. Budget, budget, budget. Oh, it is beautiful. You want to see us sitting here like two Paris models? Brilliant. On arrival, I offered her two cocoa to mall. <laughs> we're uh, doing a suicide pack. Go with dead. We're like, right, you take two. I'll take two. If we're found dead. Make sure you sell a tip. Uh, <laughs> Bit of double sided tape to the back of my hand so I look like I'm in a sort of a beautiful French lying on a chaise lawn pose. I want to be found gorgeous. <laughs> More than likely, I'd be laying there on the ground, poking all up. I'm going to go, well, <laughs> she was nice when she was found. Uh, by the way, this is a real conversation that this actually he, was real he <laughs> brought up when as soon as I walked in here, do you want 230 by 500s? <laughs> I, I, I like to be um, accommodating to guests. Yes. Like, what do you like if, if any guest wants a full roast dinner, the one here, and you can eat it? Be like ASMR. I'm like, What's that, Brussels sprites? <laughs> that caramel. No, it's, uh, it's Arthur's original. It's, um, it's butterscotch. <laughs> butterscotch. That's what it is. Uh, the- God, why I love the people online love that ASMR shit. Like, uh, loves to listen to somebody at a dinner. Like, or fucking, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just playing with this jelly. <laughs> like, you be fucking listening up in our room, God. Is that somebody's funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did a bit of roast beef? Oh, fuck. Slapping roast beef off a fucking metal, off a marble <laughs> table. <laughs> God, what's wrong with you? You not well? Cough. I have um, lupus. A, ca- <laughs> a case of the squits. No, Squ- fuck, run don't run know what the fuck's wrong with me. Run Think it's um, gay fever. Oh, gay fever. Well, gay fever. <laughs> it's uh, it's very camp. Kick a leg up, and all like I knew that's how we fell sick. He the leg kicks him. He's got gay fever. <laughs> you be about like Billy Elliot. Fuck. <laughs> Do you remember him, the boy that danced? Like, yes. you'd have, like, I'm a miner, you're a gun. I'm a dancer, I love to dance. Don't dance, Billy, you're an asshole. <laughs> you're get, but, Dad, I want to dance. Was that your life? Was yeah, like, what was that? What was that line? Uh, just want to dance at the ballet. <laughs> I just want to dance at the ballet, Billy. <laughs> you're doing Swan Lake, you cunt. Do you ever watch Modern Family, the gay couple? I love it. Um, Cam and Mitch. Yes. Uh, well, Your daughter Lily. <laughs> Lily, but he does an impersonation of Billy Elliot. <laughs> like he cried on the plane over it. It was like I just want to dance the ballet. <laughs> I just want to dance the ballet. <laughs> ballet. Tipsy bud. <laughs> oh, don't, don't. If you do want to come and see all of us live, myself, Trudy Scrumptious, and Paletta Slender, we do a fabulous show with the Tipsy Bud. <laughs> <laughs> For a wee bit of background, the manager is Scottish. <laughs> yes. And whenever Roxy comes in, there um, the venue. Like, any comes into any conversation with any person with any type of accent, he has to adopt their accent. I do, I do. He's <laughs> talking like, oh, I'll get you sent for Christmas and all that there. I'm like, Christmas! <laughs> I love Christmas! <laughs> Turkey! It's languages. Why are you booking us for the tipsy bud? <laughs> You're booking for the tipsy bud? <laughs> it has to be like, like a really short, quick Glaswegian. Like, yes. Tipsy bud. And the fact that he's a wee small ginger thing it's that makes him look like, so stereotypical Scottish. I think a couple of lines in you go for him <laughs> no no I'm only joking I'm a oh, pot t- 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 <laughs> Uh, but yes, we are there. God, we're also we're everywhere. We're at the Balmoral yes. Hotel. We've got our brunch. We're everywhere. We the Balmoral Hotel. <laughs> no, we're the Tipsy Butt. We're the Balmoral Hotel. We're Bellini's and Nuri. Yes. We're 
soon come into your living room because we'll yes. do anything. I'm like, we will do anything for the right price. Like, I remember before it was, well, some people do still ask me, like, would you come and do a wee drag appearance in my house? And I'm like, what? What? I fucking hate that. Oh, I remember before I did one, it was ages ago. I swear to God, it must be one of those small terrace houses <laughs> in Belfast. I, the living room, I was bigger than the living room. Yes. The, I literally was like a giraffe at a window. <laughs> hey, you just, are you just having a lovely time? I ended up in the kitchen with two lesbians talking about the Kremlin. <laughs> like, I, no, but do not feel like they're one of the worst parties to do, like, see something somewhere his house like they're sitting on the EP sofa looking at your clap and you feel like it brings you back to a traumatic time it's years so ago when your man made you dance for her friends which was similar kayak go on Paul do me number for the girls oh my god yes I, well I, it was me I was actually they weren't shouting my family but like would you fucking stop that like, look 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 I can tell you about in my mama's hands my mama had a pair of clogs fucking I slid and all and I was like I'm Dutch welcome to Arsenal mm, dungeon here and welcome on the board uh, but yeah no it, it's so awkward you're just literally in the living room and they're all like yeah she's Berlin hey so yeah What's that fella's name? <laughs> I didn't get fucking dressed up with my dick on my back for you to call me Paul. Exa- and then, of course, you turn round and in the corner there's an old leather sofa and who's sitting on it but an old snake of a woman. It's the old granny's 91. Yeah. Get a picture of granny. <laughs> granny's not even... Granny's literally been kept alive by the fucking urn in her, her lungs. <laughs> It's our last party, our last out, and you have to sit down in the arm of the chair. You're near fucking tipping you and granny out because she's literally only half a kilo in weight. She's a wee thin fucking wasted away woman. Like, Get up, granny, what a heck of him. <laughs> she's sitting there sucking on a packet of peanuts, um, watching you, <laughs> spitting out the shell. No, brilliant, son. <laughs> I only like the salt. <laughs> Twiddling her, her nails. <laughs> Where do you pull it, son? No, but yes, no, house parties are the worst. They really are, that's, like, aren't they? That's the questions there. Where do you pull it? <laughs> Where do you pull it, I'm son? like, I leave it in the house in a glass of saline, love. <laughs> Just like your teeth. <laughs> I remember this one woman used like me. You remember me of a woman that used to live around my estate that died of liver cancer? <laughs> oh my god. I was like, thank you. I, I'll take that and I'll run with it. Thank you very much. That'll be my new tagline. <laughs> what, what's the weirdest thing somebody's ever said to you? Have you ever been out in the smoking area like, and somebody just come up and starts telling you the weirdest you, things? Well, you know that I don't get put like let that opportunity happen like as soon as we're anywhere I'm like bye just walk straight away I'm just it's not even that I'm rude I'm just so anti-social you're like no I gotta go bye Trudy oh bye I would uh, I let all them Trudy scrumptious and all the people do ask you Trudy oh, yeah, yes bye, bye. I am yes and then they're like you're nothing but a bastard I'm like Trudy calls me a bastard <laughs> I'm only raising money for charity there's <laughs> you going around doing bad shit but then she's probably then sends you going alright I'm oh, Paul I'm Paul <laughs> Put a bit away at home. <laughs> what a joke and true day. She'd be your stand in. She'd stand for like, fucking bitch idiot. Yeah. It's terrible. Uh, but no, I love, love house parties now. In the, in the did you, did you no, actually I'm, love them? I'm only joking. Oh, right, okay. That, that was your bread and butter when you first started out being oh, a wee girl. 100%. It was yeah. like, right, uh, what are we doing? Um, anything? Fuck. Would you come and sing to my daughter? Yes. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, but it's 2024 now. See if you're fucking got near a child. You're not. You'll fucking be ruined. Oh. You bastard. Keep, stay away from our kids and I'm like, fucking trying to they're ugly cunts <laughs> keep them away from me <laughs> dirty little bastards jam and butter in their hands and all trying to touch your outfits I'm like why is that cherry playing of jam and fucking butter <laughs> oh fuck yeah. so here tell me this have you been watching the news recently no I oh, well, fuck sick the only thing I watch is videos of myself I'm only oh, joking no do. I don't really watch old dance competitions <laughs> when you were dancing with girls going this one straight five six seven yeah five you punch, you don't slap. <laughs> you do, you do punch and you don't slap. Either. You do that, you do nothing. But no, have you not seen that the British government is saying that we, all adults, could be conscripted to the army? What? Yes, we could be called up to serve in the army, just like World War II. Uh, if oh. Russia starts fighting with everybody else, starts to murder. Uh, no, you've been serious. I swear to God, I. Eh? No, I haven't even heard about it. I stole over TikTok. It's like, oh, the, uh, Vladimir Putin's going to put it in you. <gasps> everybody has to get up in the front line. Imagine us on the front line. <laughs> we'd probably do something fucking rude. People say, yeah, you're messing up in a box out here. I swear to God, I was like, see you, you Russian bastard. <laughs> Put me Russian in the app, yeah, go on. Fuck you, look at the state of your outfit, it's stinking. Up a what? Up a boot of my fucking pants. Just hurling insults, reading them all. And then there's some Russian going, what is it, you want to buy pants? <laughs> Do we bomb it too? Chelsea Shankle. <laughs> Alan, you should be shouting across the bat lines. Do you want to shout out? It's only literally the euro, or in whatever, you, whatever your currency is, I'll, that's fine. <laughs> That's how she's going to my head. Well, shit. it. They actually put her on the, they, like, <laughs> the front well, leg. We needed her to defensive move back. We'll get. We'll push them right out of your face. What about in send Chelsea? Alan, quick, get the dildo out. <laughs> you're like, ah, fuck me. 
I love Shazai. Tell you what, that's an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. <laughs> Stop. Pure Alan, but looks like he's fallen from aldehyde. <laughs> they're dead. But no, seriously. So they're trying to get us the battle. What age? Is there an age restriction or anything? Like, I think 20 something or upwards between 20. Things. But apparently now you get, uh, you're get you allowed, you're like, they'll not let you into the army if you're something wrong with depression, anxiety, epilepsy. <gasps> Fuck, oh, I'm, I'm sorted. not about well. Boom. I'm not about well. No, Never but I get an Irish passport. Fuck that. Fuck, everybody's running to the doctors now going to look at the shakes, I mean. <laughs> Shaking like a dog's dick, look at me. <laughs> Shaking like a dog's lipstick. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> what's up? That's a dog like a water. Mm. Dog dick red. I love that shade of colour, it's my favourite. <laughs> but uh, yeah, apparently we can get conscripted, but I'd be like, I'll tell you fucking what. Uh, the government can fucking shade in you like a d- from a fucking top height, and then you're like, tell you what, do you go up in that battlefield, we'll sit here and go, we're not having a party, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> Pack of fucking bastards. No. And then I storm would, it, we'd be useless. Listen, it's all political. Fucking storm won't go back to work on Ahn, fuck's sake. No. Everybody's useless. bones of their arse. Bones of their arse. <laughs> fuck's sake, I just say everybody's saying on, do you know? <laughs> so, uh, but no, I would I would go to the doctor and say I'm not a bit well. And no, fuck, I'd be useless in a fight, in a so, battle. I know. Like, I could, I'd be good, I'm good at the out hair pulling, but like. <laughs> what is some long hair in Russian? Like, Mary, you, you fucking. <laughs> Keep the fucking rights. Big, big dude. I'd not like, I would have a good fair day. Like, if it was like Bad Girls Club, oh, I'd wow. be all over it. Like, Jeez. bring it on, World War Three. Boom, I'm going to kick your bollocks in you here. <laughs> I, I, what would I do? Well, I would just call them all terrible things. <laughs> like, you would stand and you would fucking rate them all the filth. You call that a fucking gunshot? What do you say, yes? Start wanking. <laughs> Shots fast. Shots fired, dirty Russian bastards. <laughs> Look at you, what, what have you got? The Kremlin? I go to the Kremlin. We don't even know the words. Pretty baby. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I don't know the dance. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. I love, I've been doing it for seven years and you still don't know it. <laughs> if you ever see us do Saturday, just watch me dance. It's like, no, nah, I just look side to side going, don't. Just throws a wee hands up. Oh, why is me camp the hand all in it? Like Saturday night where I get fisted by men. <gasps> It is great, babe. No, where's my baby? <laughs> That's the McCann version. Stop. Oh, it's been years now. Say nothing. Say nothing. No, nobody has. <laughs> um, so here, tell me. Tell me this and tell me no more. We're going to do a deep dive. I love when people call this. How did you get into drag? Tell me how it all started. Well, how did I, like, well so my drag name came from, like, seeing school. There was, like, a group of us, a galley of gays. Was it all but, gays or girls? All, like, no, it was all boys' school. I loved it. Um, just there was a coffee in the mic. <laughs> there was like more. a group of us, and one of one of my friends was called Michael. The other one was called Stephen. And one was called Christopher. Right. So I was Paul, obviously. So I was Paul Adestrada. Michael was Michaela Moff. Stephen <laughs> was Stephanie Socks. <laughs> the gang. Christopher was just big and ginger. She was just called him Barney. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> Barney. He was just. I mean, not even like I need to go over his name. Another way, like Paul Adestrada. Michael. Michaela Moff. Ste- there was Barney. no Raven slang for it. it Burn it. Burn it, yeah. Love it. And um, so that's how I got my drag name. But since it's good. Oh. oh, I was the biggest wee wanker. You couldn't have liked me, like. Fuck, I couldn't have liked you a couple of years ago. Oh, and then no, now we're best mates. <laughs> <laughs> See, she would have trailed to her, are you? So I would. See, when we, we started drag. Well, I was we did you, start together. About the writing sound, Tim Time and June Cage was giving you the side eye, and all like, I'm going to fuck and start. You know, and I was like, I can't dance. Did like, I actually? I was built like an onion. You were like, <laughs> side eye, mate. Oh, look, like, the way it's changed now. I built like a fucking. Apricot? Um, apricot. <laughs> I don't know, fuzzy. Like a peach. Like a peach. Fuzzy. Peach. <laughs> what sort of fruit would play out of being just a fruit? A grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. You're a grapefruit. Oh, gr- ooh, uh, grapefruit. Uh, but no, no, yeah. And then, so I started dancing for like the drag queens. And then. You did. You danced with me and Rusty at Bitch Please. Yeah. At, no, but before like oh, before I started that. doing drag, I uh, used to dance for Tina and Trudy and stuff. And then. Oh, I remember. One that. night in Trudy's house, apartment she used to live in. Um, the apartments on beside Union Street. Trudy Towers. Trudy Towers. Shout out to Trudy Towers. Building's <laughs> falling down around it. She is the building and she's falling around all of us. That building's falling subsidence. I know, it's terrible. Tell me you buy it. Property news right here. Don't buy your houses. It's fucking <laughs> terrible. But, so yeah, she got me into drag. We were in her house one night. All full. Just drinking, nothing else. <laughs> and <laughs> just making sure nobody. Uh, don't worry, we're all Christian women. We were take, I think we were taking tram at all or something. <laughs> 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 and Trudy got me into drag and I like Sharon Osborne. It was so traumatic, but it was Was amazing. that the picture in the pink yeah. wig, the green dress? Yeah. Um, it will now appear on the screen for anyone who's watching <laughs> along. And are. you can tell that I've been 
just drinking. <laughs> she looks absolutely gorgeous. Those eyes, the twinkle in them eyes. It's like drugs in the eyes. Yes. That lovely wig. And that, that was your, I remember that picture went, like that was your number one, one best picture. thing ever. Yeah. It's like, if you any promotion, let me just, here's something from 10 years ago. And like, <laughs> I'd stand it with like a big dilapidated hand holding up a fake puppy. That, that's right, the wee dog and all. You thought yeah. you were gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that was some good times. Absolutely shocking. But yeah, then that's how I started. And then you used to have me on as a guest. But as you know, like I could hand me a mic and I'd shit myself. <laughs> Like, I me and Rusty and all started, you were good for the whole host of it all, where I was I just like, know. I can do the splats, you. God, you were brilliant, then Maver- <laughs> the Maverick, did. well, we were in Union Street, we were all working there, and yeah. then me and Rusty went to the Maverick, and we started over there with our uh, Sundays. Yeah, um, and then I come over, and then... Yeah, that's right. Sambuka happened. Yeah, Sambuka, yeah. <laughs> Sam, we'll call it Sammy. Sammy started, and that was the end of that chapter. Yeah. But yeah, and then we'll sure with Boombox as well. You do you and Bobby Duffy, you dance. Do the dance, yes. Wonderful. Um, got there with the good old days when we first started drag. No curse in the world, anxiety or depression. Now look at us. Feeling that crippled with that. Right Thirty off. fucking four here, shaking like a dog's dick. Thirty three. Love that saying, dog's dick. Dog's dick, I know. But I didn't really start taking drag seriously. Have you recalled to like lockdown? I know. Because I done that big girl character, and then. That, well, I want to get into that shortly. I want to know everything about horror. Yeah. Tell me all our all our bits and pieces. But you did look. You've really come on. You've come on leaps and bounds, <laughs> bounds up. and leaps. Because after, around lockdown, then that's where I I found you and Trudy. You took me. We I joined you in Eden Street. Yeah. And best thing ever. Boom! That's where we went from. We literally started there with Cabergay. Yeah. Remember after the pandemic, behind an old screen dancing. I was like, this is like being looked out the window. So awkward. Like a. a it doesn't seem like a real time. Sure, it doesn't lock down. It really doesn't. It was like, you can't sit with her. It's like, I literally fisted her last night. Why can I not sit beside her now? Like, no, you have to stay at a small distance. I'm like, I was it's ma- a gay boy. Literally minus 10 inches for him last night. It's like, he was on the end of my deck. I was the old cross through him. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, yeah. But no, yeah, the way I was, we loved, um, it just all fell into place. When you come over to Cabaret out for me and Trudy, it really did. Like, oh, we God. love it. It's very rare that you can find or like a, a trio or because a, a three is a, a, a difficult number to do host them with, but it's just two years. I mean, with a threesome, you can host them. Like, would you like a bit of cheese and crackers? Come <laughs> to the bedroom while I eat your cheese and crackers. But as performers, God, sometimes it can be different with people that are. Ah, yeah. But we're just like. Yes, bitch, let's do we it. We jail so well together, like, yeah, well, I think so, anyway. We always have a fucking gag, like, 100%. you can always guarantee we'll have a laugh, there's always just something a random comes out, and they were like, fucking <laughs> blocked, and it's like, I, how do I get home? I don't know, I push myself to the front doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> They're my favourite gays, the gays out. They're my favourite gays out. Yes, but yeah, you can get all of our dates and drag dates and where the drag brunch bunch is going to be. Um, I will put them up here um, on the screen now. You will see them appearing before your very eyes. All of our bookings in the next couple of months. Please book your tickets right now. We are going to take a very short break in the show, and I will just chat to you in just a second. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Laundry Room Podcast with myself, Roxy Tumbledryer, and my fabulous special guest, Pauletta Stiletto. Hello. She's still here. She won't leave my house. Still here. I've got squatters rights. I'm not leaving. You're fucking. You're squatting over my toilet like <laughs> one of them Indian sitting toilets. <laughs> here, you went to Australia recently. I did. How? And speaking of fucking, the, see the tortoise in Dubai? Like, um, Were the Dubai or the rent? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah, no. No, but like the guy, like the fellow was saying, like, do you want your feet washed? I was like, no, I'm going to the toilet. Can Fuck you wouldn't wash your cabs, he drums. <laughs> I knock your pocket. I'm only joking, they're coming on leaps and bounds. <laughs> <laughs> do you not see them there in the frost, they're out doing the grit and all? Like, mm. <laughs> if you honestly have seen Pallet out, she was doing this, the grit and where her hooves. Stop it, that's an ingrown toilet. Look at you, that's an ingrown toilet. I'm only joking, no, I'm just have a dancer's foot. I don't God, see, we drag your feet, we'd be like, fucking who? Mine are terrible. Fucking everybody's is. Mine's look like two pork loins. <laughs> to be gammon joints. It's like are you walking on them joints. I'm like, oh why? Mm, look like my feet look like Trudy's scrumptious in a fashion hat dress. <laughs> Trudy's getting the tight hair. I can't wait till she gets her episode because you are going to get it twice I'm as bad. Get my ball drilled, I know. She's actually sitting right and making listen, <laughs> making notes. Going right, two, three, four. Okay. What, what about them chins? Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. And bye, no. Bye. And here, would you be interested in a nectarine? A nectarine. And your favorite fruit. <laughs> um, yes. How was Australia? It was oh, good. It was amazing. Like it was really, really. It was just because I haven't seen my. I went over to visit my younger brother who I haven't seen in like eight years. That's right. What's he doing? Is he cooking and chefing? Over He's there a chef. Cooking over and chefing. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's right. a fucking guy. Rocks. It was just so good to see him. It was so expensive though. Like. Australia, it, Australian expensive. dollars are very dear compared to like yeah it was like 78 dollars for a packet of cigarettes Jesus how much is that in bag yeah about 
36, 37 pound, I think. You get a fucking sleeve of some woman up the falls. <laughs> sleeve of cigarettes. Sleeve of cigarettes. Cartafags, Vianney L and M's. L and M's, L and B's. And the worst thing about it is, you're only allowed like two cartons in this really, because they're really strict when I it comes like to like duty free and customs and stuff. You're not bringing this in here, bitch. You're not bringing it in here. And like then you, you look to the side of your customs, there's a spider wearing fucking shoes. Go, right, mate, what's <laughs> happening? You're right. Who's <laughs> selling your fucking. DVDs. Like, my friend, my friend, look at this, look at this. I got TikTok. <laughs> I got TikTok. Have you tried TikTok? It's great. I'm like, I can't oh, even man. dance. Can't dance, can't dance. Like a spider. S- s- I was just going to tell my accents are terrible, but Roxy's are impeccable. I am the accent queen. I'll we'll have to do something hear, about your accent. I just hear things and then start to imitate it. It's <laughs> dun- 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 meet me at the hoot nanny at nanny. Uh, meet me at the hoot nanny. It sounds like some American person. Like, oh my god, you gone to the hoot nanny. Make sure you meet me at the hoot nanny at nanny. Uh. <laughs> but oh yes, Australia was incredible. Um, it was just brilliant to see my wee brother and stuff and then and you're going back yes I'm going to go back in October and see him <gasps> my god look at you international jet set and oh, woman yeah. you should take the big girl oh, no definitely not why <laughs> well when I was over there because he works in the restaurant business and stuff and then his friend was is the general manager of one of the mm. like a a it's called the Grand Hotel, but most of their most of their bars and stuff are called hotels, but they're not hotels. So weird. Is it like a back room we could sleep in? Just they're like gorgeous. No, they're big mouth. Like the one she works in, in the Grand, she was asking me to do it. Big shout out to Simone. But Simone, <laughs> Simone, motherfucker. Hello, Simone. How are you? She, she's from uh, Newton. She lives over with my brother. But she was trying to make me for that. But no, I don't want to go away and work. I just wanted to go away. Drag brunch bunch does Australia. <gasps> oh, could you imagine? Fuck me. I come back in the box dead. <laughs> you paying seven grand to fucking ship my drag Ooh, back. Cut before that. I would actually be like, just ship me outfits back and use wear them. Don't worry about me. Leave me out there for the big spiders. <laughs> Obviously, that's it. It makes sense. Then we want to fit them. <laughs> Trudy. <laughs> no, no, no. Trudy will be able to sew those in the most glamorous oh, things. No. Even better than what they actually are. <laughs> He's a wizard, Harry, when it comes to sewing. She, she fucking is, too. Jesus. Uh-huh. The thing she took Ariana Grande the other week. Yes, yes. and fabulous, must say. Hands, round of applause. <laughs> So tell me this, you have now another character to your up your sleeve. It is the big girl. Yes. TikTok sensation. Yeah, well, I don't really do the big girl anymore. Like, I just keep her for TikTok. Like, I wouldn't take bookings for parties or anything. Doing things. Oh, but but I, do, I would do fundraisers and charity nights. Like, I'm doing one for Autism and I. So oh, when's yes. that? Um, I don't know, I need to check the date. But it would be good to let you know so you can get tickets and support it. Yes, but at the time of editing, it will be, uh, it'll be up. on the screen. The dates will appear on the screen. Yes, the big Guard, yeah, I just keep that for TikTok because it's just it's just less hassle for me because I do drag, which is my f- like I love doing the drag and I love yeah. doing the Belfast Mass. So I just keep the bait girl for online. Ah, uh, so it's just a wee character. And, like people are mad for. Weren't there more videos? Uh-huh. And then you're like, fuck off, it's a bit of crack. Yeah, no, I do. I love it though. Like it, it got me to where I am really with all my other work it really was the it opened the door for me the do you door. know what I mean with getting more bookings and stuff so I do love doing it it's just doing that character and doing it for an event is hard because you can't break out the dawn of summer to, in between it you have to just be able to this, you have to be this Belfast woman yeah. like, with a fag and it's yeah. you're like right and they're like right do this and you're like fuck off like, where's Brittany Court Order Marie no it's Brittany Court, Court Order Marie you fucking know what it is that is my <laughs> fucking thing Brittany Court Order Marie or yeah. what, are, where, what about Brittany Marie and all the different yeah. things I'm like why can you not get this simple name right but that's why I think they love it because Belfast names are hilarious like it's triple barrel names like all my kids have tri- all my kids I can only get you there's Gertie Cordell and Marisha Michael Patrick the triplets Dissy Lissy Macy <laughs> and they're the youngest is Paul Martin Anthony <laughs> oh I didn't know there was the youngest <laughs> yes oh Paul God. Martin Anthony Paul Martin Anthony. it's just like any name like, right here's a whole list of names put three together it could be like gotcha. Julia Simon John <laughs> McCartney. 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 But as I always say as jokes and shows, I do love a like a Celtic or Celtic name a Celtic name, a yeah. Catholic name. Yeah. It is a whole whole load of scrabble letters fucked into the air, they land in the ground, put a couple of fathers over that over the vowels. What's that name? Christopher. <laughs> Why do Irish names have all the fathers in them? Why? Because they don't know who their fathers are. <laughs> so, but I'm sh- I put that in. I put that in. <laughs> I love it. I love. I love a good joke. I love one of them stupid jokes that do get. They're my favourites. What's your favourite stupid joke? Um, you. <laughs> I you knew you were going to say that. Fucking woman. <laughs> um, so you're the big girl, and of course, then you are on stage at the Belfast Mad. Yes, I love. That's what I love doing. 
you do love it. I've seen you. I've seen you live in concert. Yeah, and brilliant. Most, you're everywhere. Fuck me. Yeah. Well, this Mother's Day, we're doing a big Mother's Day tour. We're in the Balmoral Hotel. We're in Antrim. We're in Derry, London. Die. We're in Coleraine. We're in Cookstown. We're in the Strad Arts Centre. We're in loads of places. So if you want to come and see the Belfast Ma, which is called Mother of the Groom, it is. Tickets are available now at www.thebelfastma.co.uk. It's gonna be brilliant. It's about my son. He's getting married. Oh, is that? Oh, yes, your good son. He's my son and your in son the show, son the Belfast Mass. You have a nephew as well in the other shows. Yes, nephew's on it and a two. But oh, my son's goodness. get married to a girl called Kirsty, and I don't really like Kirsty as an old her. Right. But Poor yeah, girl, it's can't brilliant. Do nothing, Foxy. No, she can't. She's Poor fucking Kirstie. ugly. I've she? never seen her. <laughs> oh, she doesn't make an appearance. But no, we'll she doesn't make an appearance in this one. Oh right, happy days. This is further. We'll we'll meet Kirsty. It's like you fucking yes. bitch. Yes. No, uh, the Belfast Man, Mother Grim. This is our sixth show. Is the Belfast Man? Yeah. Fuck me, you're doing well. That, sixth show. Wake's doing good. <laughs> that wake. That wake's the okay, ugliest her I've ever seen in my fuck life. Fuck off. It's fucking. What? Well, I've never. Ever in my life seen a woman with her in, like that in, her in this city? But it's I think it's iconic. I do too. I think it's brilliant. We're actually just looking at the wee poster I have in my in my room that we're sitting in, and it's oh my god! You'll see the poster also on the screen. It's been up for a while now. We're <laughs> talking about it. Aren't you just gorgeous? Your wee blue dress. I know that. A wee ring I give you never hang. I look like a real power military style woman, don't you? Like? You do. You look like you're sort of going to a cross community wedding. I wear orange. They don't know I'm Catholic. Like a wee leader of the Lady of the Shore Road. I I do the I do the sandwiches quite well, tabernacle. <laughs> Guess I'll suck your tabernacle, mister. <laughs> Speaking of sandwiches, you used to love doing that, didn't you? Wow. Finding out where all the funerals are, just to go and taste the wee tuna sandwiches. Yeah, I'm like, how did you know? I was like, oh, wow, we were fresh. It was my neighbour, I used to bring her a wee paper. I mean, this fucking one was only 27. I'm like, <laughs> I love a wee funeral sandwich. I love, fuck, there's something about them. I guess gr- there's a bit of grief in them. Like, <laughs> Wouldn't ah, e- would not eat egg and onion if you paid me, but by fuck if you were sitting in the funeral, you're like, fuck, oh, it's a good. We had, we, we had with a wee bit of grief mixed it all more Swear to God, there's an auntie in the back room crying. <laughs> oh, God, I love them. Makes and, it nice and moist. Oh, absolutely fucking beautiful. You get a tuna, and then there'll be like a cocktail sausage. Oh, I love a good, and a good s- a sausage roll as well. It's a wee crumbly one, you're covered, sick you fit sarasses, yes. and it's fucking flaked out. You're like, ah, oh, I'm wearing black, don't quack. Oh. And the come from a bit of money, you'll get a wee bit of chicken curry and boiled rice too. <gasps> fuck it, oh jeez, I love that. And you're like, oh my God, look at this quack. But that my plate and the plates, that paper, it's all folding and near melting through. You're like, I don't care, it's gorgeous. Get it in you quick. Yeah, it's them money, people. And it's like, pretend you're going to the toilet, but take a side and then go back to the buffet and get more for a Buffet. Get, then, get a, then my aunties would get a centre table. I'm like, right, get something for the metal. Like, but you go again, but for a wee drink. And you always, wherever you, if it's in a social club, it's a stacker glass. Love them. The, 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 the wee small ones as well. For the, the wee, wee vodkas and coke. Love them, they all stack up. Fuck me, you put a, a measure in that and coke, you're poisoned. Poisoned. No and wonder the, fucking pensioners are pickled. It. And it's fucking dirt cheap. As well, I know. And those wee social clubs. I want. I want. I've been in literally done many a gig in the Shankle, and I've, the only place I haven't been is the fucking Rangers yet. That's oh, saying. Is that you need to get in? Need to get there just to say I've done, plug. I've done the whole road. I've done the whole <laughs> lo- the whole road. But many a birthday party, many of a wedding, many of a fucking anything at all. I do love it. The Shankle are good laughs. So uh-huh. like, Shout out to Shankle with our balls. <laughs> and it's the same in uh, all the art social clubs as well up west and stuff. They're all dirt cheap. Oh, they're and felons. Yeah, I've been in there at all before. Oh, well, it's not cheap. Well, but it's all like, done up. No, it's yeah, all gorgeous. it's gorgeous. But no. Like, see those wee small tumbler glass with the vodka and all for being so cheap, and they still have a cheek to ring a wee half belt in their handbag and all. Oh, well, you have to cool off out of the yes. local. One of them off licenses has a bar, isn't it? So it's like, <laughs> hello, can I get gas? Money first. I'm like, <laughs> alright, well, come down. Fuck I'm not going to like run away and look, like, I've got 43 M2s or whatever. Ooh, M3s. Ah, I've got free gas. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. I mean, like, money first now. I'm like, is that a thing? Oh, there's, well, there's one along the shore roads. I got money now. It's run by pensioners. It's a fucking gay. It's got sellers. Did you ever see it? No. Oh, I've taken past it to fucking scream. Oh, oh really? God. And you have it, to pay for things first and all? Uh, it's like money first for the gas. Like, Can I get 10 of gas? And you have to hand the money on the card at the same time. No? I know people do do that, but it's like money. I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, the 70 got money now. Like, um, okay. Um, can I also get a bottle of smack? Money, 150. <gasps> do you remember smack? Is smack still going? Fucking right, it is. I smack a bake you. <laughs> Anytime you want. <laughs> See, I love we got a smack pineapple when I'm hungover. Oh, don't me, me and pineapple. I bought a whole twelve pack the other day. I drank a whole oh, lot. Did you? You only got for me, well, uh, you weren't here. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have them for next time. Like, would you like a glass of pineapple smack? Yes. Pineapple smack. Do you remember years ago in school, the toilet smelled like pineapple and sugar puffs? Oh my sugar puff piss. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the stage, my sugar puff piss. <gasps> Fuck, that's a new dragon. Please welcome to make it our debut tonight. It is the one and only sugar puff piss. Whee! She was out wee pigtails. Like, oh my god, I'm so girly. <laughs> she has big fat flaps and she can make herself look into a honey monster. In my head, she sounds like one of those girls you know, with those big giant gothic clumpers that yes. have no heels. Like, hi, I'm a little bit different. Like. <laughs> 
She went to the flop boots. Like, mate, I tell you, I'm fucking, I'm different. Here's Evanescence. <laughs> For seven minutes. Like, Do you remember you used to do Evanescence and you were alternative when you first started? I was, I was. I was That's where the, like, where does the name Roxy Tumbledrar come from? I don't fucking know. Like, I was like, Roxy and then Tumbledrar? I don't even know. See, even now, people ask me, I'm like, I don't fucking Do you know. actually not? We no. like, one of your wee episodes uh, of, like, Down a Well. Post epileptic fucking. <laughs> post apocalyptic epileptic. <laughs> Post the pop left the cap and the Post the left the cap left the pop left the pop left the Greece, Greek, <laughs> Greek. Um, I don't know, but it is. I know I say to people, you'll never forget it. You literally type in T U M B. And you're the first one up. The big tum. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like R O X Y T, and I just appear at Roxy Tumble Dryer. And you, people don't forget it. Like, that you? But I still get you, Roxy Wash Machine. <laughs> you, that's people just trying to be funny, though. Like, oh, but like, a woman actually. You, you wash. You wash. Roxy. <laughs> you Rishi Sunak. Like, <laughs> No, I'm washy, Sunak. I wash your back, Sam Greg. <laughs> but when you, when you put a photo up of you when you first started doing drag, because oh, Roxy was up now, she's this wee dainty little woman now, but she was an alternative rock chick. Oh my god, I know, god. Look back, I'm like, Jesus. Do you Christ. remember those like, black and white pants with a br- petrol blue hair? Yes. I think you end up giving me that petrol blue hair. No, I still have it. Oh, do you? Well, I'm a land bastard so then. You are you? must have got your own on the cheap. <laughs> oh, I did. You know, Christopher Patterson gave me his like, a real hair one. That's oh. what it was. You see, but you'd probably have it laying in a ball somewhere. <laughs> yes. I'm like, well, that was made gorgeous for some Michael Quinn's hair. <laughs> uh, fuck, remember Michael Quinn's alone? Oh, yeah. It's lovely. All oh, the boys and the girls. Um, so, yes, we've got the Belfast Mass. She is buzzing. She's coming up very soon. Yes, yeah, so get your tickets. Make sure you get your tickets. It's going to be good. I'm excited to see it. The mother of the bride, mother of the groom, the mother, mother of, of the groom. Mother of every, but the father of the bride. Father, father, of, the bride. Dra- father of the brides and drag. <laughs> I love that film. Daddy. One of my favorites. Takes me back. Oh, is it? Do you like Father of the Bride? I love, I love any one of those ones that take you back like um, yeah, trains, planes, and automobiles. You know, John Candy and um, your man from Father Bride, and they're travelling across the country. Is that the one with the grey hair? Ah, yeah. Um, Would you? No. Would you? Ah, yeah. You, lo- you love an older man. I do. You? So like you think Martin Sheen? No, it's no, it's a Martin. Um, Martin Sheen who cleans the windows. Martin. Uh, there's a Martin Sheen. He's another um, actor. Martin. Um, fuck's his name. Um, I I tape it in anyway. But you you think uh, you like older? I love an older you? man. Yeah. Oh god, like a dad. Like. Yeah. Would you be the daddy I didn't have? Daddy. You're like, I've already got a dad, but true, I'll take you too. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is. Not really. What like Martin Sheen? It's not Steve Martin. His Steve name Martin. Is Steve Close Martin. enough. Okay, like, there's a picture of him now. Let's see. Like, I mean, would you fucking kiss that, like? Uh, no, not like that. Oh, back in when he was in back those in films. The day, yeah. I think he's just always had grey hair. Like in that film, he's yeah. only literally in his thirties. So he probably would have been like, oh, God. but he looks like he would smell nice and all, doesn't he? Like, did you ever watch X Factor? Remember Darwin O'Leary? You just knew he was gay or bio. Did, oh, did you think? Watching the TV, yeah, you <laughs> just know he was, like... He Dermot was, like, looks like he stinks. Yeah. Would you be up early enough to see him on this morning now? No. Oh, God, no, he looks... He's very dressed, very smart and lovely. Oh, does like, he? Maybe, lick a dick at... Oh, wait, no, God, no, I'm not saying that. Fuck. We bet he doesn't... Fuck, you just be like, would you be able to give yourself a small baby bit wash under them arms? Um... And then you give the dick a baby bit wash, but it's like, you know, like polishing a doorknob. Yeah, so you fucking turn right, guard left. Like, you're like, turn right, turn left, polishing it like that, <laughs> like just underneath the head there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Put that away. It's Disgusting. Not. I just don't understand anybody. They can't clean the cock. But anyway, that's a story for a different day. Yeah. So here, I want to play a wee fun game. A wee fun game. It's called Tell Me All About Your Childhood Traumas. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to play this wee game. It's called The Wrong Answer Game. So you okay. have, for every question, you have to give me the wrong answer. Okay. Um, try and make it as funny as you can, but if you can't, don't worry. We, don't, we know your, your humour's not your strong point. Yes. <laughs> we know what's not about what? Humour's not your strong Fuck point. Fuck up. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here is your first question. Name a place in Belfast that starts with the letter G. For Mama. Name a fruit that starts with T. Trudy. What is the name of Linfield's newest goalkeeper? Samantha Mamba. <laughs> Finish the lyric. Working nine to five, what a way. T, get your handbag stolen and night out. <laughs> and which drag race won the latest season of RuPaul's Drag Race? UK. Ah, oh, fuck. Barbara Waters. <laughs> Barbara, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> um, she's from Shanko. Barbara, <laughs> Barbara Waters. <laughs> who's that? Barbara Walters. Oh, Barbara Walters. Who's Barbara Walters? No idea. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, you got all uh, of those wrong. Well done, that was very good. <laughs> With 25 questions, we quick one. Uh. I wasn't prepared for you. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, name me something that starts with letter A. Oh, fuck. Uh, Asparagus. Oh, that's the right answer. <laughs> <Asparagus>. um, <laughs> 
Perfect, lovely. Okay, <laughs> you ask me questions. Go. Ask right. Us, ask um, interesting. Right. Okay. So, name an item of clothing you can wear in your fight. A letterbox. Tell me, the capital of Ireland. New York. Name a shopping place that starts with a letter P. Perfect. <laughs> give me. More, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, Oh, I'm just tired. I am shade on the spot, aren't I? Oh, sure. Um, You've done your what else can I ask you? Who the father of the baby? Yes, he is the father of the baby. I don't know, sir. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I've never met my baby at all. Yeah, my uh, my accents we spoke about. You yes, do, we, we do have love to doing a translation that. as well. Yes. Northern Ireland translations is one of our favourites too. Yeah, but we'll do that. Yeah, but, but will you do like? But how can we get you to interpret your different accents? Just ask me. Um, okay, so places and accents, and I will try my very best to do those. Right, I am going to say uh, local colloquialism. Oh <laughs> yes, so local sayings that we have here. And I'm going to ask you to translate it, but I'm going to ask you to translate it in a certain accent. Right. Okay. Oh, it's bringing it a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I love it. Okay. So in Belfast, we would say at us now. Which is translated to N. I want you to translate it in an Indian accent. That would be us right now. <laughs> is it not that would be us at this moment in time? Oh, that would be us at this moment in time, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. What else? So, the next one is your dad sells the phone. I want you to translate that in an English accent. Your father sells cosmetic products from a catalogue around the door. <laughs> What's the next one? Um, get her blocked, which I want you to translate in a Jamaican accent. Oh no, that I, that's the worst because it just turns <laughs> into everything. It's like, <laughs> what do you think he asked you? <laughs> uh, get that girl sexually assaulted now. <laughs> Come on now, get that girl, take her into the back room and show her how your boom boom work. Uh, your man's your dad. I want you to do it in an Irish accent. Your mother's your father and I'm telling the priest. <laughs> the priest will know, you'll be left, you'll be told to leave the village, you're nothing but a bastard. You're not a man of God. You're not a man of God, but we've got sound quality gifts, monahan now. If you're, this, if you're an old bit of tat now, it's sound quality gifts, monahan. My absolute favourite. God, I love her. If you haven't seen her, look at her. Jesus Christ. Absolutely yeah, wild. Is that the girl on TikTok that sells, like, stuff from her shop? Uh, it's like uh, printing and all, and she could print your fucking granny's face in a t-shirt and all, you'd wear their rave. <laughs> you. <laughs> granny loved symmetrics. You. <laughs> With a fa- fa- father of his faults. Oh, it's oh granny. God. I love I love when people do that. Do you ever see, like, a feather of faults? You're like, oh my God, it's my daddy. Like, <laughs> Darn, he's not dead. I know, but it's still him. He's at work. He's, fuck, what is he? Where's he work? He works in a duvet making shop. <laughs> he makes pillows. Oh, that's what it is. Poof. It's a wee pillow puffed. Wee poof. Wee, wee bum poof. Pillow puff. And so tell us what's coming up in the new year for you. What's happening? What's going on with your life? Tell me everything. Well, <laughs> nothing. She's fuck all left with her life. I'm Goodbye. Not fuck all going for me. I've just got all my shows coming up. I've got the brunches. I've got the Belfast Ma. I've got Australia to look forward to. I've got. A girly holiday to look forward to. Uh, just a lot of... Well, I have no New Year's resolutions. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Oh, I never do. It's one of them things you never keep. It's like these people at the minute are like, oh, I'm going to walk the hills and all and everything. <laughs> what did you say? From <laughs> Kitchen Talker to Hill Walker. <laughs> <laughs> kitchen Talker to Hill Walker. Hill Walker, I've never heard that. Oh, I love it. I heard it somewhere else. I've stolen it off somebody, but it's fucking brilliant. It's so accurate. It's like, so over all of December, you're in Kitchen, Steph and Coke. Oh, me, I tell you, love, I'll rub your daddies with a fucking iron. <laughs> Fuck your daddy's wearing iron. Cold, of course, like, just Cold. love. Right, your tits are melted. Don't want me to fucking steam your tits, load. Don't you to take a wee bit of gear on my dick. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> small line. Is that mozzarella? St. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark. Take a wee bit of tit on my tit. <laughs> two, two to tit. <laughs> it takes two to tit. It takes two to, it takes two to make things go right. It takes two tits to take a shite. <laughs> Swing the tits. Ding, Ooh, ding, the gear's good if you're shiting. God, fuck. He's straight up them stairs. I'm like, I have to excuse me. So <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you fuck you up the nights it. Well, no, God. Like, but, you know, people haven't been like, fuck, here, love, I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Fuck, I had a Chinese before I came out here. Next thing is like, nobody go through the, near the bathroom for three hours. <gasps> oh, that, uh, that is a big fear of mine. Like, going on a night out and needing to go to the toilet. I fucking hate 
going to the toilet in the public bathroom. It really is a big fear of mine. Like a pish? Like, no. I like, oh. uh, like, but say if to go to the other one, I'd be all, all cut to speaking about it. But like, if you have really to curl really one out. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to curl one out. Um, do you ever go in the public and they've never got a toilet seat anywhere you go? It's know. like, did I just sit my arse in this porcelain? I'm like, ugh. No, I couldn't. And especially when it's like stainless steel and all. Oh, fuck that. You describing the Kremlin toilets? Yes. <laughs> but no, I, no I do I to make fair of mine. Go like, out and need to go to the toilet in the public bathroom. If anybody takes a shite in the Kremlin toilets and he's shamed. Like, yes. why, why, why are you shading? <laughs> we <laughs> don't shame people in this podcast. No, we don't. We, uh... No, but I had a traumatic experience, so I went to the toilet in Smithfield, like, man, I know your dick was in between. <laughs> the money joking. Was that? No. You stop lying, you were there Crazy. every day. Look at no, you rubbing yourself and all. <laughs> <laughs> act For anybody off. that can't see, she's rubbing herself here and all, her lemon treasures she's wearing, things oh, yeah. she's on all day in Tenerife. Oh, yeah, I'm 11 or eight. No, I, like... Fair run. No, I do have a fear of going to the toilet in the public bathroom. You can't drop, you can't drop anchor at Poo Bay. The kids are locked up. They're not being dropped off at no pad. No, you have to go back to it. Well, I do. I would rather go back to the, the nicest of my own toilet. I mean, you can watch TikToks and full volume. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going with. I think, well, the, I'm like, this, uh, uh, this tarot cards come out you. You're going to have strong bowel movements. Like, how the fuck do you know? Do you know? My algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Al Gorithm. <laughs> and Al's like, hi, I'm of different too. They're always different. Well, do, 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 I love a good wee cheesy drag name, do you? Fucking live for the drag names. They're could, my could pr- tell me some of your favourites. Um, oh my god! You have low drugs. Eh? We have had. We have low over you the just past come out with them. like years working together. We have compiled a list of drag names. They're always in my. Uh, no, that's a god. I have so many notes in my phone. It's mostly about you being a hero. <laughs> the Apple is none but a bastard. There's another Belfast colloquialism, gives a buck at you, but that in- translates into please allow me to pleasure you sexually. <laughs> So if anybody ever does shout that at your legs, I'm back at you. That's what it means. Um, yeah, oh God, do love a dragon. It's like Coco de Mall. Coco de Mall, yes. Oh, she cool. has a bad back. Terrible back. Um, we've got the pervert drag queen, Molly Store. <laughs> Molly Store. Oh, wow. Um, if you want to put your rubbish somewhere, it's Sarah Bin. <laughs> Sarah Prabble. She's always putting rubbish in bins. She likes to recycle that girl. Uh, pamphlet. She's always giving out leaflets about her drag. Like, would you please read that there? It's a long one. Uh, Miss Isle. She would be the first in the battle if we're called up. <laughs> like, I'll get you. Doesn't missile sound like she'd only be about four foot, but be yeah. angry bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm me beach? I work. What other one is the dancing drag queen? Well, I've, 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 there's a drag queen here that's always ter- always terrified of taking a shit in public. Dawn Ting Time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to Anna five six seven eight? She's the dancer. <laughs> Anna, Anna. Oh, you mean like colour bear surname? Five six seven eight. Yes. <laughs> your dinner ready? Right? Five six seven eight. You're required up here now. Um, we've also got um the big the biggest dick drag queen Don Kedick. <laughs> what about Don? Ah, uh, Kedick. Don Kedick. Uh, Universal credit. Yes, I love that one. Lovely Catholic woman looking the money. <laughs> Anna. Yes. Uh, we've got a very, very sick drag queen. She just only performs in the hospital bed. She's called Lynfoma. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she just does numbers to the NHS, keeps their spirits up, because you know why they're not getting paid. She, she does a clap on a Thursday. Work! Yes, Lymphoma. <laughs> uh, we've got Megs Benedict. Like Eggs Benedict. Mm. We've also got uh, no, no, another girl. She, she's This other girl's on, on the bed facing uh, Lymphoma. We've got Leukemia. <gasps> oh my god! I know. It's a drag king. Look. I, Lu, Lu, Luke or Lou. I'm like, I'm Lou. <laughs> um, they've also got one as well. She only does um, a few shifts in Spaghetti Arms. Shout out. Beg up, Spaghetti Arms. Beg up. I'll have to get back to that. Dirty Gujon. Gert de Gujon. <laughs> Gert. Oh, what's good? Gert V. Gert coming. And um, oh, Bruschetta as well. It's Italian. <laughs> Tomatoes chopped on bread. I'm like, you, my bruschetta. I'm your bro. But I do love bruschetta a stiletto. A bruschetta stiletto. She's Italian. I come and dance for you. I love that. Gertie Gujon. Gert de Gujon. Love that. That should be somebody dressed up behind the counter spaghetti arms. Michelle. Doing we Michelle and her wee heels and all. That's the aunt. Sorry, that's... <laughs> yeah, oh. Michelle, fuck. Michelle's kicked my content. This is a, an advert for spaghetti arms. We would yeah. like 10% off on our next meal. Thank G- you. Benny, my fancy a Sunday roast for me. Oh, for roast beef. It's a roast beef. Eating roast beef, you know. <laughs> Speaking of roast beef, 
Dave, and speaking of everything, I think we should make a little bit of a mischievous call. Oh, yes, please. Oh, it'll be a gag. Well, while we prepare that, we are going to move to a very short advertising break again. I love an advertising break. Not sponsored by anybody, but if you would like to sponsor us in this podcast, please do. Like, get your mattresses from Brokenback.com. That's <laughs> Brokenback.com. And Roxy is available for voiceovers. <laughs> That's right. I am indeed available for voiceovers. If you are in Spain, I talk to you like this. Uh, do you want to buy 3500 Coco de Mol, uh, 3060 Paracetamol, <laughs> Ecolina? Sí, por favor, de nada. Uh, that's me coming back from all this. I'm like 10 boxes, love, shaking like a rattlesnake. <laughs> Oh God, I do love a tablet. Uh, I love <laughs> to this whole podcast. I love tablets. I'm like, what do you like? I like tablets. They're lovely. I do enjoy a wee vitamin tablet. What is your favourite tablet? Well, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Taking two well womans in the morning. I get up now. My why the fuck? My daddy's getting bigger. <laughs> do you said that too quickly. What's your favourite tablet? Well, woman. <laughs> You've been looking through my tablet drawer. If you any sleepers, get out of there. My fucking well woman's there. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I only take them in drag days. Just feel me. It's just a feel up. Fuck, I fuck. Well woman and well man. I'm like, I'm a well something. <laughs> well them. Well them. That's a bloody fuck. Mm-hmm. Merge them two together. Make a new business. Well make them. a whole new thing. But yes, we'll be back in just a second. Spon- sponsor me. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Lorraine Kelly. Welcome <laughs> back to Good Morning, Lorraine. What I want to talk to you about the fact that I don't really work on my show and it's always Christine Lampard doing it for me instead. Fucking Lorraine, she's never in work, that bitch. <laughs> 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 I'm always up early, I always have Lorraine. Usually it's Good Morning Britain, they're all like, oh, get the foreigners out. <laughs> that's, that's Good Morning Britain, basically. Fierce Morgan, cunt. Um, but... It's a good laugh, like just see the cut, just shit and abuse, and then I'd fall back to sleep after after looking at a few TikToks. And then you wake up, Libby and Kelly Hunt, kill me, kill me about what are they? And it's like, who's on fucking Rod Stewart? It's like the her everywhere. I'm like, oh, fuck, take it out of his bed. This one <laughs> must have pushed him. I was like, get him up. Waking up in the middle of the night swimming. Thanks so tell me about your Rod Stewart. You're going to are you? <laughs> and what sort of hospital bed are you in when you're on stage? Is it go up and down, does it? Uh, and so you'll be able to do like lifts and all. Oh my goodness, isn't that great? <laughs> great. <laughs> Everything's always about her as well. So it's like, ah. So tell me about. And you better run over by a car, is that right? Yes, I, I'm just ahead. I was also run over by a car before. Back to me, thank you. So <laughs> a car is a vehicle with four wheels. And it came at me quite quick. Stephen Hawkins. And oh, he apparently he's he, on the list. He's on the list. Jesus, he went to Epstein. What was he gonna do? Come at me now. I will <laughs> touch you. You'd switch him over the wall and go fuck you, cunt. Yep, out of the wall. <laughs> there would be no party. It wouldn't touch you. None. He'd be unplugged. I'm like <laughs> up the ramp. Let's make up. Oh, yeah, shit. Stephen Hawkins. Home. We've no ramps. What are we gonna do? Fuck him over your back. Come. <laughs> Them fucking stars, there. Go on, son. There you are. Park him in that room. Put put CBBs on for him. <laughs> put put the rain on for him. <laughs> Hello, <it's you. laughs> Stephen Hawkins on the list. So he is. There's no wheelchair ramp that be. No. Fuck. What would you do if someone was coming out? Like, right, you're going into service. Him like what? Fucking service wheelchair. <laughs> I'd oil the fucker up. <laughs> Oh, go. I'm like, mm, get that going. What do you to me? Update that computer screen. Give me a new voice. <laughs> Hello, my name's Steve, and you're all right. And like, rather than any bunny bunny boop. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I'm like, fucker, I'm mad. But I can't wait till this actually comes out to see who, who's what and where and what, who's on the flight to uh, the Lolita Epstein Experience. Island. Epstein Island, otherwise known as Grand Canaria. <laughs> Grand Canaria Pride. Mass below mass. Mass, mass exodus. Um, that's where everybody goes at winter. Ma- oh, uh, I went last year. It was gay. Oh, did you go to winter pride? No. Oh, Jesus. No, I'd have the shits. I'd be like, oh, too many people. Yeah. It would be Belfast. Just went down there. So I'm like, that's No, weird. that's what it is like. I'd done it for like six years in a row. You I loved like, it. had enough. You were in the middle of it all. So you were. Oh, I was. Doing high kicks. Bums to the wall. Here comes Paul. You were doing that many high kicks. You, hem- you should have them hemorrhoids at the time. Right? You, you, she was doing high kicks just to separate hemorrhoid from leg. Like, <laughs> ah, my arse. Hemorrhoid from arse too. <laughs> Swear to God. I'm like, oh, God, this heat. Let me just do a high kick. <laughs> <laughs> Not I'll release the spot. Pileta Stiletta. It's like, I need a wee rubber ring to sit on the plane the way down. <laughs> Four and a half hours, long time. Well, say now. So, that's enough about my hemorrhoids. I do. Do you want to welcome everyone back to. Yes, <laughs> welcome back to the. Uh, <laughs> 
podcast, the laundry room was just like Pilatus, uh hemorrhoids. They come out and everything comes out in the wash. <laughs> Are my dirty laundry? Oh God, absolutely. Have to. There's always a bit of dirty laundry. It has to be laundered here. <laughs> I'm also laundering money as well on behalf of the bar allergies. Um, she owns a kebab shop. I do. You know, it's it's actually an American candy shop. <laughs> See, in Amsterdam, we have oh, recently there in Amsterdam, it's good times. Um, American candy shop, burger shop, American candy shop, oh, really? burger shop coffee shop then it's burger shop American candy I'm like oh my god everybody must be fucking banned fucking knickknacks and nerds and then tackies it's like tackies <laughs> they're, they're stinking Jesus. I didn't need to remortgage your house just to buy a packet I know, so expensive so you remember a prime come out and it's like prime, prime. Uh, just selling bottles of prime love it's only £37 a bottle you're like what? I would back. See, if I asked for a bottle of Prime whenever I was young, my mum could have just looked at me and you went, say none. Fuck, I still have the scars from sitting in the post office asking if Ronnie and Marie Dolly's and up the arm of me. You were fucking warned before you came in here not to ask for anything. <laughs> and it was just that look and the arm was nipped off and you were sitting there going, all right. Ah, uh, did you get a no, <laughs> no, 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 no. get abused for fuck's sake? Oh, your mum. No, your mum was just a, a mum of the ninety, like a good yeah. ladies' man. See, my, my man just looked at us and we were like, okay, okay, say fuck all, say that. So you or used to like shout at us like you two fucking bastards. And it was always lower down, wasn't so it? low, and was coming through like you know, like a bulldog, like you, you fucking going to the teeth. <laughs> oh my god! And you just went. Don't yes, fuck so about For the sounds of things Your man's Johnny Dog Mad Dog Adair No, d- no fuck no My man's Gina Adair it's Gina Adair No but yeah You uh, Fucking You were fucking warned Before we got into your shop Don't fucking swear a thing Oh my god That's that low tone You meant Don't even breathe Now fuck See whenever I was uh, Working in my other job I heard that, um, this woman Trying to leave the plane And her two kids Wouldn't get out of the road It's like Tarquin Tarquin darling Would you like to get off the plane Tarquin was like No I don't it's like <laughs> Sounded like fucking Tarquin would get the back of the fucking hand. Tarquin, fuck me. Tar- Welcome to London, you cunt. Um, <laughs> Tarquin, I'm like this child. You are actually that. No, you just go Tarquin. See you, you fucking get out of that seat now and get up that urban before I fucking rattle you with the back of my hand. Your my foot will be buried in your fucking hole. I swear to God, it's like, do you have gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt for Tarquin? Gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt. Gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt. I'm like, oh. unfortunately, no, we don't have any yogurts on this plane. They explode. What about a cheese and emmental toasty? <laughs> What about some Iberico ham served on top of a flat for catch bread? I'm sure you have loads of stories about flan. Oh my god. Ross's cabin crew, by the way. Oh, I am indeed. Yes. It's, uh, people say it's glamorous. It's not. You're literally, like, trying to wash somebody's shite off the rim of the bowl. And you're like, <laughs> oh, so quick, somebody give me a litter picker. <laughs> trying to jab it no I'm like <laughs> the toilet like sucks Ooh. I remember as a child you used to think I'm going to get sucked off <laughs> sucked down not off well <laughs> no, nowadays I'm like I wonder if uh, I wonder if I stick my top in there but oh flan is a gag the things you see the things I'm like what the fuck I couldn't be an our hostess or host or whatever you're called it's gender to stand so oh, our host them our <laughs> And I host them. <laughs> I host everyone here my, <laughs> on my plane. Welcome on board. Um, oh no, the th- oh my god, don't the things. I remember literally. I, I know I tell this story quite a lot, but we landed in Ibiza one night, and the window blind was closed. And I was like, "Why the fuck's that closed?" I slung it open. There was a tampon stuck to the plastic <laughs> of the oh. window. Like literally, like it's a lovely view of the red sky. <laughs> it was a Sunday too, bloody Sunday. Swear to God, I'm like, what is with people? But Ibiza is the worst. Like they just push in a bag, leave it at the floor, and you're like, um, do they actually? Yeah. Oh god, I. And then you're like, you're trying to pull somebody, poor wee girl. They would come across that dirty knob end. Ooh, disgusting. Oh no, disgusting. And just people are strange, like very strange. I fucking hate flat. But I find it really funny. I just love like collecting the mad stories. Go, oh my god, some woman's like, hello. I'm like, yes. Where's she from? I don't know. <laughs> they're always fucking. I always get the mental cases. Like, hello. They start to tell you stories, and you're like, right, it's great. I'm like, I'm coming home after the hysterectomy. <laughs> <laughs> like, um. Fanta orange that <laughs> cup of I, uh, <laughs> I way, doing a fag run oh my god wild um, but yeah it's great it's, it's a lovely job yes thanks for asking um, I can't wait to get back to it and live my dreams say up or something sincerity jetting all the way across to the Isle of Man <laughs> most glamorous <laughs> island nine minutes of a flight to the Isle of Man was it I ah, fuck imagine trying to get a fog like, oh god fuck I'm like give me just in a drip on a driver <laughs> <laughs> oh this is lovely I love a vodka and coke um, so yes, tell me what other uh, Coco Bongo is another one of yes, your um, doing Coco Bongo tricks up your sleeves. Oh, this week. Oh. Yeah, it's it's like a, a musical bingo, but it's not. But it's not. But it's not. Oh. I'm making it down mysterious. So you come and get your tickets for it. No, it's great. It's great crack. You win loads of prizes and stuff. If your numbers called, you can win like a trip to Paris. I know. I a trip I, to TNT. I covered you up in the Everglades and. Um, where was that? Up in Derry. Up in Derry. Was it gay? They're all mental. 
Yeah, no, they are crazy, but it's great crack. I love it. And the guys that run it... Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Well, two beautiful masters. Will lead and Callum. Will lead your dick in the... Ma- oh, no, stop that. I have will to work with these fellas. Will lead me up into your bedroom and Ooh. Callum all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the guys. I'm going to tag them probably in this video. Like, oh, don't in. you dare. You'll get me sacked. My Ooh. P45. You'll no, get the yeah. ball sack. Like, no, but they really look after me. So it's great to like feel appreciated. <laughs> finally, finally got what you deserve in life. Uh, no, the night that I covered you went up the dare. It was fantastic. I drove up. We had an absolute laugh and a half. Yeah. Um, it was it was great. Like the prices give away. It's like some girl won an hour for her. was about dancing around. Right? <laughs> so like, people dancing, around hum- dancing around handbags. Like I'm dancing around a fucking ninja here. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I've got a good state map now. Bag. That's going on the shackle band sale later. I love, but the fuck, see if I want a ninja on a night out, and not, <laughs> not like a fucking fella chop you to the neck, like an actual ninja fry, I'd be over the moon. Oh, you what? But, I'll, but I, I still do love a good oven, 200 degrees, say, bang it in. Say, I, I'm the same, I don't like stuff in the air fryer, like a deep fat fried for me all the way. Oh, you're like, get that oil heated up and yeah. throw everything in it. What's yeah. what deep fat fried? My phone. <laughs> so I'm going to lick it. I'm like, oh, okay. Daddy's well. dick. No, but. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. Um, that's just a, a dish she makes cold sausages. Daddy's <laughs> dicks. It's circumcised. Daddy. Um, yeah, no, I just stick it on 200, bung it in 20 minutes, you sorted. Yeah. And I'm usually always making dinner when I'm doing my makeup, so I'm like, eyebrows, eyes, dinner, then lips. I'm like, mm. Do you have an air fryer? Um, yeah, but it's under my counter, I don't use it. It's very small, you don't only get, like, you won't get much in it, like. No. Nah, I like big dinners. It's like your arse like then. You wouldn't get much. TTB. TTB. TTT. So here, do you want to do a wee bit of mischief? Do you want to have a gag? Yes. Well, we make a wee bit of a call on every week. Or whenever I guess, we're going to do a bit of a telephone call to... Um, an establishment. An establishment in the country. And just um, making it up as we go along and having a bit of a laugh. So this time, this week, uh, we are going to give the uh, Balmoral Hotel a call. Um, our lovely friends at the Balmoral Hotel have always yes. looked after us over Christmas. All of our shows. We've got the, Christmas was great. Do you remember getting oh, the big I Chinese and all? Christmas, yeah. We oh. we stay over for the night and all because we would do like a Friday, Saturday and a Sunday sometimes. Oh, they great. And they would put you up in a room and all you'd order Chinese. Well, of course, I would order Chinese. No, do you remember Christmas... Um, they ordered all of the Chinese for all oh, of the staff. Oh, yes, we that's went, right. We went down to the staff for, my God, there was literally was like seven chicken curries. There was chili Why chicken, fucking, I bit the Malik said it was Singapore, beef curry, a pork shishon, or whatever you call her. Pork song? Pork shishon. Shashur pork. Session pork. Session pork. <laughs> Pork Shishon. Like, excuse me, can I get. We're ringing a Chinese. What time is it? <laughs> Hello, do you do the Pork Shishon? <laughs> Sorry, it's down in Dublin. What's the Pork Shishon? Is that a fella that works in the kitchens? Where's Pork Shishon? Big fat fella called Sean. <laughs> Who's calling me? I'm out here making the noodles. Oh, you'd be full of pork. Pork Shishon. Oh, here you're massive. I, I have to. I actually have to write that down. Just remember, pork Shishon. Shush. What do you call it then? Szechuan pork. Similar. Szechuan. <laughs> Szechuan, uh, Szechuan, you're my Szechuan. You, you can give, give it to me when, when you come to Chinatown. Szechuan, Szechuan, you're my Szechuan. And baby, I can spice Turn up you all. Szechuan's very spicy. Oh, I love a nice spice bag. Oh, I, I, my, as you know, my favorite thing is Chinese. Tell me the order as quick as you can possibly say. Special say. fried rice curry, top and bottom, no prawns. A beef curry, fried rice, a portion of Singapore noodles for extra beans, spice of curry chop, and a portion of onion rings. Oh my god. Mm, <laughs> fuck, I'd sure about that there. I'd just be like, uh, can I get a chicken curry? Um, oh, no the breast, no napple. <laughs> 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 off the breast, no nipple. I'm like, give us a bit of that chicken nipple. <laughs> Can I have um, a sausage supper with no sausage? Yeah, I love people. I got a lovely Chinese, put it on Facebook, and it's literally a sausage, chips, <laughs> some prawn crackers, and bl- some really, really dark gravy. I'm like, oh, you can love a dark gravy, but oh, the darker the better. Oh, I know. I, who was that I last seen wrote that? Stephen McCulloch. Shout out to Stephen McCulloch. Must have been hungover. I was like, who does the blackest gravy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has to be like tarmac. Oh, God, thick tarmac. Oh. I have a recipe book downstairs. Should you try to make it? Oh. Well, you, you love the old MSN, don't you? MSN. What do you call it? <laughs> MSN. I mean, it's when you done the chat years ago. It's MSG. MSG, you love that. Modern sodium glutamate. Guys, oh my God, it's not unhealthy for you at all. It's actually amazing. It oh, really, really lifts the flavour of food. I use it in meats, chickens, beefs, broths. Um... <laughs> You <laughs> use it in what? Meat, chickens, beef, broth. <laughs> beef Cheese, broth. Cheese, lobsters and beefs. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh no, I, I, it's, it's great. But whenever I'm making like chicken curry, um, I can make it from scratch. Perfect one with Chinese. MSG, your curry paste, boom. Beautiful. Leave, it takes you right up. You close your eyes and think you were literally getting a takeaway when you're blocked. Go. Oh, serious? Absolutely fantastic. I can't cook. I'll teach you. 
No. We're bringing out a whole new show called Plata of Cooks. <laughs> Plata of Cooks. I can make nothing. She's actually just cooking meth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that used to be my um, password for Facebook. Miss Meth. Miss Meth. Miss Meth 90. Love it. Oh, I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meth 90. And you're having a home and change everything. Everything. Shit, shit, shit. Capital M. Oh, do you want me to cut that out? <laughs> <laughs> no. Capital M. It's a different one now. Uh, low, low, uh, Low, ca- low capitals. <laughs> People say low capitals. What's that? What's it's that? Like, it's a low capital. It's a capital of the cinema. It's down at down, down, down the mountain. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm just talking shit. But yes, we are going to give our friends at the Balmore Hotel ring. God love whoever's on reception. But this, uh, they don't know. Like this, they... Um, what? No <laughs> I can't speak. No, so this is a prank call that we're doing. Roxy is yes. well known for them. I do love them. And I cannot wait to get Rusty Hinges on this. She is the best out of two. But here we go. Let's oh, yes. give this a go. See if you can hear it. Thank you for calling the Balmoral Hotel Belfast. Hello. Please listen carefully to the following options. It's like ringing the press doctors. Sounds Angle like Bar. Damien. Press two for events. Press three for weddings. Press four for reception and reservations. Wait, wait, wait. Number am I four. Having, am I having a wedding? Though? Hard up, really high. Good afternoon, the Balmoral Hotel Belfast, Hello, um, I'm just getting a wee call there. I was uh, staying at the hotel at the weekends and I've left an item in one of the rooms. I'm just wondering if it's been found. Okay, what is that? Um, well, it's it's a se- sentimental item. I'm quite a little bit embarrassed, but it, it's a bra. Um, okay. it, it used to belong to my grandmother um, and I, I would travel around with it. Um, but I'm just wondering, has, has a bra been found? It's a, like a, a, an older woman's lacy bra. Do you remember what room you were staying in? Uh, I think it was. Uh, oh God, um, it was. Well, I think it was seventeen. I think it was. Yeah, seventeen. Just up the stairs. Um, what's your name? Uh, it's Mister McLaughlin. But I just wanted. Did any of the cleaners mention they found a like a lady's bra? No, and I don't have a McLaughlin that's there in seventeen. It was definitely there over the week after I stayed Friday to Saturday. No. Is it room 17 to our executive suite? R- r- oh, no, no, they. Oh, right. Is this. No, uh, what hotel is this? Sorry, I'm just checking. The, Bal- the Balmoral Hotel, Belfast. Oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. I was meant to ring the beach loan. I'm sorry about that. I've, I've got them confused. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Thanks very much. All the best. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> A, lady, a lady's bra. <laughs> no, Mr. McLaughlin here. <laughs> Big shout out to Orla. Not to be confused with Chucky Orla. Is that uh, Orla? Do you know who that yeah, is? Yeah. So that giggle at the end. But she's <laughs> literally going to go, it's a man rung up and he, he was looking at a woman's bra. It was his granny's. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. <laughs> But here, Paletta, thank you so much for being my very first fabulous guest on this Laundry Room podcast. Thank you so much for having me. It's been it's so excited to see where this takes you as well. Oh, me too. God, it's going to take me up the street, around the corner in Diaz to get gas because this house is bothered. Yeah, back down the Duns. And probably, oh, I love Duns. Don't even get me Don't started. Well, the Duns is our, a whole other episode. We'll be off here on our tangent. But to you guys as well, thank you so much for listening to the first uh, episode. Make sure you follow Miss Paletta. Add us to letter yes. on all the platforms. Platform, yeah. TikTok, Instagram, um, she gets her arse out on, tic- on Twitter. Yeah. Um, it's not her arse, it's actually pathetic arse. Um, <laughs> she lost hers in, in, a, in the great fire of 96. Yeah. Um, but yes, thank you for being with me. You've been absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you all on the next episode of the Laundry Room Podcast. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Yeah.